Today's episode is brought to you by Canby Foursquare Church. Since 1978, a place to grow, connect, and serve. In-person services are back with some restrictions to help ensure everyone stays safe and healthy. For the latest, visit their website at canbyfoursquare.com. Welcome to Now Hear This Can Be, your source for news. The threat of a possible teacher strike was avoided this week. There's a new irresistibly cute creature winning over fans, and its name is Scootaloo. Sports? It's like Lucy in the football. You want to kick a field goal, but they take it away from you. We had to learn how to win. Mm -hmm. Goal can't be in the last second of the game! And interesting conversations. Because I'm one of the strongest girls ever, and I know that for a fact. I just really enjoy writing gossip as if I was a bear. <laughs> With an old maid daughter that make the best moonshine in the coast. <laughs> and if you would hit me in the face, I think I would have died. I really do. It, it, it... I guarantee you would have died, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Welcome to the Now Hear This Can Be Podcast, April Fool's Day edition. Thanks for listening, you jerks. I'm local ace reporter Frank Tyler, and this is what's sort of happening this week in our community. Canby has quickly become a major player on the geopolitical stage after the surprise discovery of one of the world's largest reserves of crude oil in a large pothole on Highway 99E last week. The stunning find was made by local farmer Beverly Hill, who was making a run to the Canby Wilco store with her husband when the front passenger side tire of their old Nissan pickup truck struck a pothole so huge that it cracked their suspension, then a whole lot more. We thought the darn old oil line got cut, but then Billy yells that it was way more oil than we would have in the truck, especially since we ain't had it changed since the Reagan administration, Beverly told now here this can be. It was spurting up taller than a Georgia pine. It was higher than a hippie in a hot air balloon, agreed her husband Billy. Geologists estimate the size of the deposit is at least 65 billion barrels, which would put it at number three behind Kuwait's Burjan Field and the massive Gawar Field in eastern Saudi Arabia, which spans more than 2,000 square miles, an area slightly larger than Delaware. The discovery comes at an especially opportune time for the United States and its estimated 150 million commuters who are facing record prices at the pumps thanks to historically high inflation and the war in Ukraine, which prompted a boycott of Russian oil and gas by Western countries. The energy crisis is solved, President Joe Biden said, speaking to a crowd of more than 21 socially distanced listeners in a major speech from the iconic Wait Park gazebo Wednesday morning. The American people offer their gratitude to Kimberly Hall and the entire city of Cambodia for making the dream of energy independence finally come true. The White House press office later clarified that the president meant to say Beverly Hill and Canby and that the statement the energy crisis is solved was intended to be metaphorical. While Democrats and independents tended to greet the news optimistically, those from the other side of the aisle had their own spin. If I was still your president, the Canby oil reserves would be twice as big and would carry the aroma of the finest Belarusian chocolate. Former President Donald J. Trump boasted in a fact statement to a confused editor at the Canby News, which is located in Canby, Minnesota. We all know that the radical left Democrats will only squander this find and use it to power their windmills and electric cars. Oil may once have carried the crude nickname of Texas Tea, but that's not the only association to the Lone Star State that appears likely to change thanks to dis the discovery of the massive reserve on Highway 99E. Tesla Incorporated, which had previously announced plans to relocate its headquarters and the bulk of its manufacturing operations to a huge facility under construction near Austin, Texas, has announced it will instead move to Canby. The company has optioned land in the Canby Pioneer Industrial Park to build a 4.3 million square foot assembly, paint, casting, stamping, and body shop facility at a cost of $1.06 billion according to documents filed with the Canby Planning Commission and state regulators. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk said the company plans to start limited production of its Model Y midsize SUVs this year and high volume production next year 
Musk said he was drawn to the community because of his agricultural history, including once being a leading producer of industrial hemp and small town charm. I hear you guys have a ferry, Musk said at a press conference at City Hall this week. That's pretty cool. I thought those were only in Peter Pan and stuff. Construction for Tesla's new factory, located on Milano Road in the southeast corner of the industrial park, is expected to begin this summer. The factory building is expected to be at least three quarters of a mile long once completed, will operate 24-7, and is said to create some 10,000 new jobs. Traffic consultants hired by the company predict it will generate an estimated 25,000 new daily vehicle trips, the vast majority of them large trucks loaded with vehicle parts, raw materials, and finished cars. The facility will be served by a one-lane gravel road built in 1910 primarily to service horse traffic with a dirt road in the back for emergency responders. Governor Kate Brown on Tuesday unveiled a greatly simplified and streamlined matrix of public health and safety guidelines as the coronavirus pandemic enters its next stage and the state prepares for the 17th wave of COVID-19. I know this is not the news that anyone wanted, said Brown. No one wanted or expected us to still be dealing with this virus more than two years later. We are tired. We are frustrated. But we, we must all do our part to protect the most vulnerable among us, as well as literally everybody else. But Brown and state public health officials acknowledged the confusion that previous guidelines and changes have brought and promised the latest update will, will provide clarity with simple rules and regulations that apply broadly and to any situation. Starting Friday, masks will be required when shopping at any pawnbroker that has been in business for more than 15 years or a family-owned fish market, but only if the customer or employees are wearing black socks or if they have a last name that ends in Y or N, Brown said. Oregonians who received the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine during Lent or the third Thursday of any month are exempt from all mask rules, she added. Cleveland Browns fans must wear masks on every other Tuesday and Thursday, except on weeks following a Seahawks win, while supporters of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers must mask up on weeks Tom Brady throws at least three touchdowns. Women who are at least 5 feet 10 inches tall must wear masks during Grammys week but may otherwise go maskless, while men shorter than 5'7 must wear a mask rated at N95 or higher at all times, except while sleeping or if they have red hair. Finally, golf caddies and baristas who are fully vaccinated may go without masks on days they get the daily wordle in at least four tries, but must wear a cloth mask if it takes them five or six, and an N95 if they fail to solve it altogether. This simple, science-based approach will allow us to finally beat this virus and get back to normal, Dr. Dean Seidlinger, the state's epidemiologist, said at a news conference. He then proceeded to berate a journalist for not following the new rule of wearing a mask branded with the logo of a U.S.-based corporation while standing within 10 feet of a television news reporter. The Canby Civic Center was buzzing with excitement Wednesday night as the mayor and city council unveiled renderings for the latest planned revamp of the downtown core, which would include replacing the city's streets and sidewalks with giant glass hamster tubes. According to the plans, the project would leave much of the city's crumbling downtown buildings, streets, and other infrastructure intact, but would build large glass tubes all around them for some reason. The one word that we as city leaders have always strived to embody is transparency, Canby Mayor Bill Booty said at Wednesday's council meeting. What could be more transparent than four miles of giant glass tubes? Officials say the unique project is a key component of their plans to economically revitalize downtown Canby, drawing new and returning visitors to the city's business center. This project fits in beautifully with and adds magnificently to our city's growing tourism base, agreed economic development manager Jackie Jingle. Our message to the world is simple. Break free from the rat race and come hang out in some giant hamster tubes. Surprisingly, public response to the plans has been overwhelmingly negative. If I wanted to feel like a giant hamster, I would buy that costume and go to a furry convention like a normal person. Glenna Rapsudo wrote in the local Facebook group Can Be No, this is the second worst use of public funds in history after that stupid arch. While the clear majority of those who spoke out online as well as during public comment Wednesday night appear to doubt the wisdom of the project, most seem to agree that with the money pouring in from the city's new oil contracts, it has to be spent on something. Quite frankly, I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen, said local accountant Quip Quickly, who owns a tax office downtown. 
but at least it will keep the rain off people who have to park in Malala because there's never any parking downtown. The mayor later explained that the tubes will be perforated with millions of holes to help facilitate airflow. Canby City Councilor is in hot water and facing a possible recall effort once again after several posts on her personal social media accounts expressing a controversial opinion. Councilor Fiona Fork has been no stranger to controversy in her four years of public service, but she may have just landed in her biggest scandal yet after a series of Facebook and Twitter posts were unearthed in which she expressed the belief that Disney's new animated musical comedy Encanto is better than the company's 2013 smash hit Frozen. Just watch Encanto for the first time, instant classic, Fork wrote in a February 27th post. It makes Frozen 2 look like Shrek 4. Other posts went into greater detail as Fork praised Encanto's culturally diverse setting and vocal cast, beautiful animation, and, and original songs by acclaimed composer Lynn manuel Miranda. Encanto was an original story about how families' love for each other can triumph over tragic loss and violent civil war, Fork wrote in another post. Frozen was a Hans Christian Andersen ripoff about how a magic snowman can help two sisters overcome the tragedy of having different personalities and hair colors. Several commenters who spoke Wednesday night castigated Fork, calling her comments disrespectful, unbecoming, and even disqualifying for her office. This country is built upon our freedoms, said Nevin Carrot, director of the Oregon AMO Fraternity, or OAF, a lobbying group that focuses on statewide gun rights legislation as well as Canby City Council races. Freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom of opinion. But I'll be damned if I'm going to live in a world where a city councilor gets to say Encanto is a better movie than Frozen. Frozen is not only the greatest Disney movie ever, it may well be the greatest film, animated or otherwise, ever created, announced John Stepner. And unlike Encanto, which glorifies the culture of the world's largest producer and exporter of cocaine and heroin, it celebrates a tradition from which many of our founding fathers derived their heritage. Stepner later admitted he had actually not cared for Frozen until quite recently. And local attorney and conservative activist Skylar Smith said Fork's opinions may not merely be unwelcome and wrong, they could also be illegal. The First Amendment, ever read it, she asked Wednesday night, it guarantees freedom of speech. Ever heard the central song from this trash movie in Canto? It's We Don't Talk About Bruno. That's right, people. Counselor Fork believes that Disney Corporation should be able to dictate the boundaries of your freedom of speech. Smith promised to file a recall effort against Fork, but admitted she would have to wait until the current recall effort expires. Hey Tyler, read any good books lately? <coughs> yeah, actually I'm reading a really good one right now. Awesome, what's it about? It's kind of complicated, but uh, there's like these two kids with an absent parent, and then this mysterious stranger shows up with his sinister accomplices, and, and they just start wreaking havoc in their lives. I think it's like a Faustian metaphor. Wow, that sounds really dense. <laughs> it is. Interesting, though. Who wrote it? You know, I, I think it's like a doctor. Starts with like an S or something. Sass. So Tyler, are you reading The Cat in the Hat? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's taken me like two months to get this far. Okay, well, um, hey, whatever your interest or um, reading level, open the world of all things books at the Book Nook in downtown Canby. Yeah, guys, this local independently owned and operated store is your one-stop shop for the latest releases and great deals on a huge variety of previously owned books, as well as games, art, and writing supplies and gifts. They also do book clubs and game nights if you're looking for some fun, healthy activities right here in Canby. And hey, you know, for you, Tyler, they have a really expensive selection of children's books. Oh, cool. <laughs> Anyway, check them out on Facebook and Instagram, online at booknookcanby.com, or stop by 294 Northwest 2nd Avenue and let their friendly staff introduce you to your new favorite read. Hey, uh, Frankie, wh why do you think I'd be interested in children's books? We'll talk about it later. Oh, okay. Frankie! How many times do I have to ask you for those audio files? I need them for the next episode. I know, I know, I know. Man, I told you I'm trying to upload them now, but it's taking forever. 
that's uh, super weird. I thought your new internet provider was like super fast speeds. Well, I thought so too. I mean, sometimes it goes really fast, but then I get heavy lag and glitches when I'm trying to make FaceTime calls or play games. It has cost me quite a few missions on Call of Duty Warzone, I can tell you. Even the videos on my doorbell cam come in jittery sometimes. Well, Frankie, other than being very bad at video games, okay. it hey. sounds like it's trouble with your upload speeds. Most internet providers only talk about their download speeds since those are usually way faster. Okay, hang on a second. You tell me there are two types of internet speeds? Uh, yup. And upload speed is just as important as download. Think about how much stuff we send up to the internet, like the video of you that your friends see on the FaceTime call or the response to your commands when you're playing action video games. You're right. It sounds like I have slow upload speeds. Wish I would have known that when I signed up for internet. Unfortunately, a lot of providers only tout their download speeds when talking about their services. That's what sets DirectLink apart. Not only do they openly advertise them, but their upload speeds are up to 10 times faster wow. than other providers in the area. They know how important it is to have clear video when on that Zoom interview you have for your dream job or when you're trying to catch those porch pirates that are stealing all of your Amazon packages and the Christmas things that you got for your, you know what, it's yeah. not a big deal. Give DirectLink a call to get started at 503-266-8111 or visit directlink.coop slash internet. I got a grudge against those uh, I'm porch still pirates. waiting for my teddy bear to show up. <laughs> All right. Joining us on the Canby Conversation today are two of the newest members, part of the Canby business community coming into our industrial park. They are aliens from, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce this, I'm uh, going to do my best, uh, Volvulon 6. It's uh, Volvulon. Okay. Yeah, Thank close, you for though. that. You yeah. were very close. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. You no, know, I really good. tried. To, I want to welcome you guys, make you feel comfortable. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourselves? Because I don't want to mispronounce your guys' names. Oh, good. well, I am. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Monald Blump. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and I am The Crack. The Crack. And yeah. Monald, thank you guys so much. Um, tell us a little bit about your business. Well, um, you know, funny enough, uh, we have really we've we've cut out a little corner of the galaxy for ourselves to mm. be able to, you know, it started out as a way to just kind of feed our our multiple families that we have. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got at least sixteen thousand children, mm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and and I've I, got five growing in me right now. Yeah. Yep. And wow. uh, and so he's 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 gonna five thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We I, go by a, the K. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, just, and I'm learning so much. Like, yeah. and uh, and so we what we do. It works we, differently for us, by the way. Just but anyway, we'll, do we'll, you guys have more than than no and less? Like actually, <laughs> can you imagine hundreds? Yeah. Just hundreds of children? That's so weird. Yeah, and it's a, it's the females. It that, seems like it'd be so quiet, us. like in a in your mansions and stuff. That yeah. You guys live in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and with us, it's actually the females that, that do the caring. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Weird. That is weird. I mean, I that wish our weird. females would, would go through the <laughs> process, right? I then know. they could know what would real you be pain like, Don't eat like. them. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Right? You oh, can't, man, can't, I can't keep your eyes off that. <laughs> My ex-wife, she ate all of our children. Every single one of them. Yeah. Mm. That's what happens. Yeah. yeah. Is that why you We've all been split? there. No, not at all. Okay. Uh, it was you were fine with creative that. differences. No, we had a party afterwards. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. After we divorced, not after we ate our children. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you were telling me about your business. We kind of got off of yeah, the yeah, biological. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kind of a weird conversation. But um, funny enough, it is related to that. Yeah. See, uh, what we do is we focus on distributing children throughout the galaxy yeah. um, that that we've produced so that, uh, you know, we can. Oh, so like your own children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You yeah. distribute them. Yeah, they, yeah. Do, they do the work. Mm -hmm. And we found somewhat by accident that a lot of uh, the, uh, what you would call secretions from the child's orifices uh -huh. may, uh, you're, 
species really likes. Mm. Yeah. And they can be added to, to drinks mm-hmm. and to food and, and uh, consumables. All right. yeah, yeah, it can be used for a lot of things, I mean, for, like, for adhesives. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, if you think I, about it. I love it because I love the name of it. Why don't you guys just tell I mean, everyone's heard of it, but the, the product name that's just flying off the shelves well, we're we're workshopping that. We are. Yeah, we're we're coming up with a, a name specifically for gotcha. Earth. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, just because yeah. you there's know, no the, direct you tailored, there's no direct there, translation. There's not. Our, yeah. the, if we said it yeah. in like our native tongue, yeah, your brain would literally. Explode. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um, but we, let, we let, don't me, let me finish talking that. about what we do. So yeah. our our children go out into the world. I don't know if you know how many stars there are in the galaxy, but like I twenty. Um, Wrong. A little more. Way off. Yeah. More. Yeah. Way off. Okay. Um, there's enough stars out 25. there that basically my children have become the representatives for my company. So they're going out and mm. they're going to each solar system. They're yeah. creating a lot of, you know, they're trying to get the These the are name. the ones that weren't eaten, eaten by your ex Correct. Okay, these are, yeah. the, these yeah. are the children that yeah. survived. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we've Most learned Some of these that... are from is the wife before that and the wife before that. Right. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Um, the ones from the wife before that are, are kind of too old now. Yeah. Well, they're getting ready to retire. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, We've learned that other species enjoy the secretions of the children, and we've learned to mix it in with local flavors. Everybody loves it. Yeah, yeah. it's really cool. And, and you know, it's really, like, uh, it's really faint. It's just mm. a, a mm-hmm. small little thing. I think the closest thing that you guys would have that we've we've seen is LaCroix. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and just like LaCroix... Low in calorie. Yep. Mm. No carbs. I love me some LaCroix. I would and... love some alien... Secretion. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's coming your way. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming your way and <laughs> directly from Camby. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so cool. I mean, what what brought you guys to Camby? Like, what, how did you even hear about us from Volvulon? Volvulon. Yeah. Volvulon. Um, it's really funny. We have a we have a mutual friend um, mm-hmm. from Earth that mm-hmm. uh, you know he made contact with us a while back, and oh, cool. ever since then he's just kept talking. You know, Earth, you guys should come. But to here Earth, in Camby, well, he's not from Camby. Oh, okay, um, uh, have you... you may have heard of him, Elon Musk? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's building something in Camby too. Right. Yeah. Well, he we ran into like the... literally, I ran into one of his spaceships. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, I was, I was SpaceX. Well, n- well, I, it I found out later. Well, there was, space. there was a, a giant phallic shaped object coming mm. towards me. I was just, he had me going out and scouting spots. Yeah, we were looking for areas. I found out later that was one of Jeffrey Bezos' ships. Yeah. I dodged it, hit Elon Musk's ships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, landed because I wanted his insurance information, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And uh, we struck up a conversation yeah. and started really talking. Uh, really he started guy. talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, it's hard sense. for the cops to get out to that area. You're, you're, you're just waiting for them talking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And he started talking to me about space cops. You guys have this primitive form of transportation, I believe, called a car. Yeah. He starts blabbing on and on Motor about these vehicle, cars. You know, it's got yeah. different. Yeah, names, and yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, you know, and and he needs a, you know, a warehouse and yep. and all this. Yeah. And I was like, that is exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I and mean, bada bing, bada boom. We use we rest use history. thermal energy from the suns and cosmic radiation throughout, and basically, as long as you're in space, and secretions. You have a, well, obviously, don't we forget use our the secretions. secretions. It's a good fuel source and. Uh, fuel for your Drink. body yeah. source. Yeah. 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 Um that's our tagline. Uh for your ship and for your body. Mm. That's that's what we yeah. go with. I love that. Uh yeah. yeah. I mean it's it's pretty good. That's a strong brand. So so Elon and I actually ended up meeting at a party after this and you know, mm. he and I yeah, just I sat made down the, I, I and, say you gotta meet the crack. Yeah. <laughs> Elon, you gotta meet the crack because yeah. we there's it's Kismet, you know, yeah. and, yeah. and so yeah. we hit it off. I, we hit it off. And yeah. And um, the crack, the crack, crack se- yeah, yeah, the great. crack sealed the deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and we asked him like, where do you think on this Earth that you're talking about? Where's the best spot? And he was talking about a, an area that's rife for yeah. uh, mm-hmm. expansion and uh, ready to just be taken advantage of. Yeah, and yeah. We're like, wow, this sounds 
perfect for yeah. our secretion factory. I just, I just can't even. I love the picture of these three people. You know, you've got Mondo, you've got the crack, you've got Elon. Monald. Guys, Monald, excuse me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive Monald me. Monald from But Bold I mean, Yulon. all titans of industry businesses and, um, you know, Mon yes. Monald and the crack aren't even the weirdest names in the, <laughs> in the group. It's, it's, we're super excited because yeah. um, when, you know, that was the fun part, but when it came down to finding a location, actually signing the contracts, right. um, getting kinda, the sign, getting yeah. the contracts just translated into our language, all yeah. of that. You know, basically, we had like three questions. One yeah. is, is the land cheap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which was, yes. Was, uh, yeah. could the infrastructure handle the billions of vehicle trips yep. per day? The answer yep. was no, we didn't care. It was, actually, we didn't yeah, care about the answer to that one. They said we, no. I said not. We doesn't asked matter. that to be polite. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, a oh, courtesy. How how many children are you pregnant with right. this time? And then the answer is like, I've already forgotten your right. answer. I don't care. Well, and, uh, and, wouldn't and a lot of your well, you want to hear the third well, one? I, I do, but on that one, <laughs> wouldn't a lot of your traffic just be straight to the sky anyway. You would think. You would, you think. would think, but we actually have to maintain traffic within the boundaries yeah. of the county. Is it like yeah. a ramp up? Yes. You have to we ramp have up to off yes. the roads. out of the county before we can go yes. up. There's um, a, it's a very specific right. tax law okay. that we actually instituted on ourselves. I don't know why we made that decision, okay. um, what was it, 100 billion years ago? Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, Well, it's, okay. because, it's because the fumes of our... I'll just tell them. Yeah. You know, uh, the fumes of our... Spaceships are so toxic. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to put it. We don't want. It. We don't want them blasting off where we live. Yeah, if we if you blast off immediately from our facility, yeah, yeah. all of those it'll be yeah. Go no, into it's the space. other way. No, no, it's the yeah. other way around. It's 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 toxic while it's in Camby and Clackamas County. Yeah, once it blasts off, it's free and clear. Good. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we wanted to keep all the toxicity in Camby right if here. we could. We want okay. to keep it local. Okay, keeping it local. local. Yeah, That's what we've we heard, heard really that important. the that it was important. You guys to might have misinterpreted that. So the citizens here. So your guys' facility will then have uh, billions of alien vehicles on the yes. existing roads. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. And then what was the third thing? Oh, the third thing is uh, is the population. Of where we're putting it, you know, susceptible to being addicted to our secretions. And yeah. it was a resounding yes. Uh, yeah, great, they absolutely great. were. Yeah. Uh, you guys did a lot of, like, market testing we did, and stuff. We yeah. did some spot yeah. tests yeah. and making sure that uh, the, the people of the area want something that's going to make them feel good. Yeah. Um, and uh, absolutely, we yeah. can provide that. We yeah. can provide that um, very mm -hmm. easily. This was actually just water that you gave me, by the way, right? Nope. Oh, it was yeah. not. Okay. Nope. That was a, a full finger's worth of secretion <laughs> in there. It's good. Yeah. I mean, you guys, you'll you all try it. Some of you probably already have, but yeah. it's it's really. Uh, we've been slowly dumping it into the water. If if the water yeah. ever tastes like it's a little bit algae, mm. that's when we haven't put the secretion in. Okay. So as but, long as the water tastes good and can be, yeah, secretion, yeah, yeah. you're welcome, yeah, yeah. We call I'm, that that's that's the the, and that's the crack special mix, yeah. Like he only brings that out for special occasions, by the way. So yeah, yeah. I enjoy. Uh, if I had to describe it, and I don't know if it's just because we've been talking about it or, but I want to say, Elon. It just it tastes like Elon. Well, I did, I did absorb him. Yeah. Um, okay, and, and you know through the process right. of digesting, right? Then I it, that's what becomes the secretion. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I can see that. Yeah, cool. So, how what's the process been like working with the city for planning? Oh, this? so good. Yeah, the so st easy staff to work is with. is excellent. Yeah, the staff is excellent. Nice. Um, and you know, Camby seems to be very pro business. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I we've and had zero people in the way of us trying to get this going. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's been great. I mean, we thought that there was going to be some pushback. Sure, um, but uh, as far as we can tell, everyone wants this. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what about the people who say that they don't? Oh well, we, we don't care about them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We just gotcha. don't care. Gotcha. Yeah. It, it's really great when when you realize that. 
the universe is an ever expanding mm. entity in which we live in yeah. and one person's opinion means absolutely nothing right and and the meaning of it all right um it's really easy to just disregard anybody you disagree with yeah that's such a great philosophy i agree it yeah. is and it's not even exactly that we don't care i mean we don't obviously but, but you know i think it's more like you know those who oppose us um will see the light once they uh bathe in the secretion, secretion. i think yeah. that's that's it's a that's a proverb from yeah. our planet yeah. uh, loosely translated he who bathes within secretion will become one with whatever he yeah with, with the hmm. secretion <laughs> that's beautiful yeah. I think it was the philosopher Secretus mm-hmm. yeah. who came up with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he, we uh we actually I think maybe have a, a relative of his. Oh uh, yeah. Socrates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really close. Uh, I wonder does, if they're does any he practice relation. the Secretus method? I, he did. Yeah. He did. He originated that. that makes so, sense. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um I just have so many questions. I, I don't know if I can ask you guys things that are kind you of personal whatever you or want. whatever okay. you want, man. Um how do you guys eat with no mouths? Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got you. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever heard of osmosis? Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, osmosis is where uh, I I don't know the the technical parts of it, but basically mm. we eat through our skin. Yeah, uh-huh. you just like like. Slap a piece of bologna on the arm and it just goes, yeah, it just right goes in. right in. Mm. Do you see so, this little nub that I have right here on my arm? You see that nub? Oh, I see it now. Now yeah. you pointed out. That's, I, a, ch- that's, that's a chicken strip. I was little Chick Fil A. That was <laughs> oh, Chick Fil A. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. could smell yeah. it from can here. You, can you taste it or? Uh, if anything, we taste it better than you guys. Do. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, our whole every inch of our skin. Is, is like what what you would call a tongue. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that's what's happening to the chair. I was wondering. Yes, yes. yes. How's, how's that? One, how's that no, chair? You taste? got it. <laughs> how's that chair taste? Um, Salty. I'm gonna it's, guess. It's like in spots. It's yeah. strange. Yeah. I'm not sure. And there's a little bit of like. Um, if you ever see, there's a hint of like Scotch Guard. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like. Uh, yep. I, I know exactly what that yeah. is. Yeah. 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 If you ever see one of us hugging uh, one of one of you, a uh, human, um, mm-hmm. mm. you know, usually we're for we're, us that's like a sign of affection, right? Or like friendship, and, yeah. and it, it is for us too, yeah. But also, we're just getting a good taste. Mm. You know, we're just yeah. trying to we're just trying to make sure that you're on the up and up. Well, yeah. you right? you should have seen the look on my face when I shook the mayor's hand. Yeah. The yeah. look on your face. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I every ounce of my I taste everything through my right, skin. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I you know we don't shake hands where no, we come from we because not. of that. Yeah. No, we don't. You yeah. know, and but I'm pretty, I'm pretty intimate. It'd be so like human trying just to, walks up and sticks yeah. their hand at you. Right. And it's like, hey, I buy me dinner first. Yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. <You know? laughs> That's I'm the just, equivalent. But hey, when in Rome. Yeah. It's the equivalent Romeo of like on seven. I'm going to translate it to the listener, but it's like the equivalent of like you just met someone and they just lick their face. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, speaking of which, like it's kind of uh, interesting to, and we've talked about, you know, the uh, having kids and that kind of mm-hmm. business. Uh, without getting too graphic, this is a family podcast. But how does that kind of work for you guys? I'm actually looking for a wife right now, and okay. I, and I I think because I'm going to be settling here, here in, on this plan because I'm settling here oh, to run the facility. Yeah. Is, I'm looking mm-hmm. for a lady who wants to have kids with me. Yeah, you know, is, yeah. Here for a Cambodian who, wife who wants to fall into the crack. Cambodian. Yeah, am I right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's looking for a Cambodian wife. <laughs> and that's that's what made him break right here. <laughs> yeah, we heard there were lots of Cambodians here. <laughs> that's the dumbest thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was Cambiite or mm, Cambi or a Cambodian. Yeah, Cambodian. Yeah. Cambodian. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cam- yeah. So, but anyway, you, you you heard that the the ladies here were. Pretty pretty primo. Yeah, I heard that there's a great dating scene in Camby. In yeah. Camby, um, yeah. 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 And mm-hmm. I just I'm ready to yeah. settle down with a woman who wants to get me pregnant. Yep. Yeah. Where we come from <laughs> <laughs> 
it's good to know what you want. Well, it, we, it is good. I mean, yeah. and, and I mean, some people that might scare them off a little bit, be a little too forward, but like, there's got to be put it out here. there. Yeah, you don't well, want to get a year down the road and be like, "What do you mean you don't want?" <laughs> How am I supposed to populate this facility with employees if right. I don't have a woman who's right. actively trying to get me pregnant? Right. It's like the first thing on his Tinder profile. Yeah. Once it says sixteen oh, you're, you're on Tinder. Yeah. yeah. I am on Tinder. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is in and this is where we come from. This you'll find this interesting, I think. Where we come from, dating people under the age of sixty five is taboo. Ooh, yeah. So that's another reason why we chose Camby as well. Yeah. Because of the dating. You have pool. two full facilities. Yeah. Just Packed with people that yeah. uh, probably you know uh, are yeah. just a lot of them single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready so, to mingle. Hey, anyone, if you're into the crack, yeah, I can hook you up. Nice. I know that. I know. His so number. looking for some seniors that are into crack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're a senior who's looking, uh, if you're a female senior looking for the crack, yeah. who yes. wants to get someone pregnant, just let me know. My this car. crack is not whack. I'm not, and. Uh, Monald, what's what's your situation over there? You, ladies' man as well, or? Um, I actually, when I b- pledged my allegiance to the crack, mm-hmm. and became his number two, mm-hmm. I. He, it's a good position too. The crack's me, number two. He yeah. made he made me do a I vow feel like of those celibacy. Go together. Yeah. Really well, yeah. He yeah. made me do a vow of celibacy. <clears throat> oh. Okay. So the babies that are in our gestation cycles are like around two thousand years. Yeah. So this was before that, but that's he's only been working for me for like three solar years. Yeah, that will be it for me until you know we'll see what happens with this venture. I assume, you know, planning commission is gonna just sail this on through. Right. Everything is good. We're applying for uh, what you call an SIZ. Okay. Uh, because we don't like what you call taxes. Yeah. Um, actually, in in our language, taxes translates roughly to a word we couldn't probably say. Yeah, on it's, your, it's a family show. On yeah. your on your thing. I would but, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So Honestly, if we have family at home listening yeah. to this, we should probably stop saying the T word. Yeah. Oh, there was a fourth reason we came here. That reminds me. There was a fourth reason to, to run our facility and to get the amount of secretions needed. We need. I think it was like trillions of gallons of fresh water. Mm. Right. And we're so we're just going to tap into uh, the rivers that surround mm-hmm. Camby and yeah. just suck it I mean, dry, everything's man. here. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice. It's, it's yeah, pretty excited. great. If you think about this, the system, the ecosystem that you guys have here yeah. on Earth, we can tap into one river and basically... And we're getting water from Mount Everest on the mm, other side yeah. of the world because your guys' system runs that through, filters it, and drops it right into right. our backyard. Yeah. yeah. Elon, Elon was like, do you remember when we were at the party? And oh, we, yeah, we yeah, mentioned yeah. that. And he goes, well, I got, you know, I know some guys at Nestle. Let yeah. me tell you. And then, and, then, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you talked to Nestle. It was like child's play. Yeah. I was yeah. like, Nestle, uh, what's that? A leaky you're, faucet. You're playing with what they're doing. We're building with yeah. bricks, my yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Ah, what a bunch of oh, fools. Let's dig yeah. underneath and then go yeah. over to their water, and then we can yeah. get their rights. Yeah, just take Billions the water. Billions of gallons. <laughs> Learn to use Child's the play. ozone layer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I just love how you guys have found so many people that, like, really resonate with you. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, let me see. Other questions I have. Um, what's, uh, what's that smell? We don't smell, so... Yeah, I don't know what we don't have uh, olfactory what is, yeah, organs. What is the smell? Okay. What is it though? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. can you describe <sighs> it to us, maybe without as you would describe something to someone who's never smelled, smelled or know what is smelled yeah. anything? Yeah, if you could do that, that would be helpful. <clears throat> that that feels kind of hard. Um, I'm gonna try. So uh, let's say, have you ever? tasted something mm-hmm. and um, it makes you want to throw up. <laughs> well, I sat on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Elon Musk for me. Yeah, yeah. I kid, I kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, imagine that that's like, um, like in a gas form mm. and just sort of like 
all around here. Do, I do wonder, you guys have eyes, by you, the way? Did you leave your spaceship idling outside the yeah. studio? Yeah. Uh, it, might, it might be that. Yeah. I've got I've got my dog in there, so you know, I yeah. wanna I wanna make sure yeah. yeah. I'm also just remembering that we talked about fumes and smells and stuff earlier in this podcast, so it's weird that now you don't know what smell is. But anyway, Things change. Like we, we're we can evolving. Sense fumes. Gotcha. There's okay. a difference between yeah. I can absorb fumes. fumes under my skin, and I can taste them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's what smell is exactly. You're tasting stuff with your nose, like with your nose. Yeah, totally. Huh. Yeah. So good things and bad things. Sometimes you smell things, and you're like, hmm. Um, you uh, know, like. Yeah, I'm sorry. The crack. I didn't. When I booked this interview, I thought he yeah, uh, was a little bit more cool. knowledgeable. So I'm my, I think, my apologies. Honestly, like we need to go to like the Camby apolo- Herald. It my sounds ap- like they're gonna have a better interview and process. I know. Over there. Please, please forgive me. I can me. Uh, give you their email. Oh, please do. I heard that they have their own podcast. So yeah, we'd like to get on an actual mm, news yeah. podcast if we could. Yeah, yeah. They don't anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that's about all the questions I had. Um, is there anything else that you guys just wanted to share or that I should have asked you about? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we are we are looking for the the future. We're looking out for the future of Earth. Mm. Um, and so um, by taking all of our water. Right. It's it's I think if if I may absolutely the crack. Um I will say this, uh citizens of Canby, uh we're poisoning your air. Mm-hmm. We're taking your water. Yeah, we are the clogging your and uh, roads and destroying your infrastructure. Yeah, that is we're correct. providing no uh, jobs. Right. Well, yeah. and That's for right. for, you, for, well, for you, for you, hold on. Except for one lucky lady. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, uh, and so it's a whole new like when you talk about job creation because you guys are like we're creating, yeah. jobs. creating the people yeah. that that do That's the jobs. No, the jobs are all for our babies. We were saying we're gonna come to Camby and create yeah. jobs. Yeah, for our babies. For our yeah. kids. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, people were excited so when they heard ten thousand yeah. new jobs created. But, but yeah. But hold on, come around to the flip side. You're welcome. Well, you're welcome. But, uh, the but secretions. They get? They're getting the, the secretions. secretions. Yeah, yeah, you're giving up a lot, but you're getting. The secretions. But we have to pay the for secretions. it. Yeah, of course you have to pay for it. Yeah, nothing's free. It's not except, free. Except for the water yeah. and the air that you guys take. It's free. But Is we, it, though? We found, we, well, we, again, when we talked to Elon Musk, he told us about what you guys would, would described as a, a free market capitalist system. Hmm. If you don't like it, and you after, just go to yeah, Mars. It's fine. After Mars we finished great. laughing... With tears down our eyes, we thought this is where we're gonna put, yeah, hmm. our distribution center. They're ready for us. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so well, it has been such a joy uh, meeting you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna shake your hands, um, but yeah. uh, <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like after this interview, I'm crack. ready to. Yeah, well, I mean, I think we can go ahead and just yeah. digest them real quick. I think we should shake, take our shirts off, and hug. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I have a little more of that uh, secretion. <laughs> hey, I'm AJ. I'm your uh, local Oddmos franchise owner. I'm Mike, co-founder of Oddmos. And we're the hosts of The Odd Pod, a podcast that about life in the pizza industry. We're going to have on some franchisees. We're going to have some different vendors on. We're going to get a snapshot of what goes on behind the scenes in uh, the pizza world. Don't forget to tell them about the sports. Their sports. And the crazy, wacky pizza that we have every Wednesday that we create. And we also have a special guest every week as well. And I'm Gage, Odd Pod Senior Sports Analyst. Gage, who gave you that title? Me. Oh, boy. Find us on Spotify and Apple Music and the Podbean. Are you a healthcare hero? Do you want to become one? Are you looking for a position where you are valued, your time is your own, and you have ample opportunity for growth? Marquee Companies at Hope Village in Canby, Oregon offers all of that and more. They are currently hiring nurses, caregivers, CNAs, and enrolling students in their free CNA course. From competitive wages and up to $25,000 tuition reimbursement to flexible schedules and the opportunity to make a positive impact on someone's life, Marquis at Hope Village is the right place for you. 
Take your career to the next level and apply now to become a valued team member at Marquee at Hope Village in Canby. To learn more or apply today, text CURRENT, that's C-U-R-R-E-N-T, to 888-906-3432. Okay, we are out and about uh, talking with uh, some folks about the latest addition to the sign community in Canby, the new Grant Street Downtown Arch, and we're just talking to some other signs to hear their thoughts on uh, the latest addition. So we have here now uh, the stop sign on the corner of 2nd and Maple. Hey, how are you? Oh, hey, Hey. what's up, man? So what do you think of the new sign? Oh, you know, I don't don't get over... um, to see it much but you know i i've heard some That's really true. good things about it you know hey hey, hey 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 slow down slow down yeah you know man i just uh it's great it's, it's great that our city is expanding and yeah. getting better slow yeah. down you better slow down are you are you a stop sign or a slow down sign well i mean i need people to see me i need people oh, to know okay. like hey hey so shouldn't you be more like, hey, look over here? Well, if I had hands, I would definitely wave <laughs> over for sure. But I don't. I just got my red yeah. face. Yeah. So obviously, um, yeah, I probably should have started by asking some signs that are more near the arch. I just thought maybe you guys had like a network. You sort of talked to each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we talk about it all the time. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I, I don't know what some of the other signs are talking about. I think it's great. I yeah. think it's super cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, it was great to meet Stop! you. Stop! Stop! Okay? Okay, so now we are over uh, at the Clackamas County Fairgrounds and some of the signs there. We've got a, a few of them here, actually. So what do you guys think of the new arch? Well, I'll tell you what. My family's been here for a couple of generations. And, sure. Uh, to be honest, I'm not so sure I like this new uh, Portland sign coming in to, to take, o- take you know, over the streets of Canby. Yeah, yeah. You know, it actually is um, It's actually a Canby sign. Well, I mean, it's in Canby, but it's, you know, what it, what I'm saying when it's Portland, you know, is that it's it's coming down from Portland and it's uh, and it's sitting in Canby now. Yeah. Uh, but it does say Canby on it. It so can it's say no, Canby all it wants, brother. It but, can say Canby all it wants, but, but that don't make it Canby. It's still a Portland sign. It's still a Portland sign. All right. Look at me. I'm made of wood. What's that thing made of? Portland metal? I don't think that's a thing. Uh, how about you? What do you What do you think about it? Oh uh, yeah, you know it's uh, it's great. You know, no, it's not. It's not great. Uh, I think it's pretty great. Yeah, the accent changed pretty dramatically on that one. <laughs> Uh, another new sign to come into our community. We're now here at Cuts Force Market. Um, hi, hey, welcome to town. By the way, what? I, I said, oh, you're a pie. I said, welcome to town. Oh, hi. Hey, uh, yeah, um, you know, I've, uh, I've been uh, floating around for a while. Yeah. Now I'm here. Yeah, you look great. Thank you. Thank you. It's I just got this done. Just got this work done. You, I, It looks amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. So what do you think of the arch? Um, you know, I can't I can't say whether it's good or bad, but, um, I, you know, it's it exists. Okay, that's really vague. It is. It's pretty vague. I guess, uh, I guess I don't really have an opinion at this point on it. Yeah. But I will say we got the best donuts in town. You I, know? I really like your sign because it's got all, like, the produce and stuff. What's what's some of your favorite uh, fruits? I'm a sign, so I don't really eat fruits. Oh, Okay. But they Not are even cheap sign here. Fruits? It's the best produce in town. All right. Well, it was great to meet you. Make sure you come visit our wine selection. It's the best in town. That's great. That's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Okay, but okay. don't forget, we got watermelons from Hermiston, the best in town. In March, you have Hermiston melons. Yeah, uh, we get them all year long. We got to deal with Hermiston. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> move down the strip a little bit we're talking to some of our local fast food signs um just gonna stop by here real quick at mcdonald's hey how are you hey 
Hey, what do you think of the new art? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Love it. Okay, heading right along uh, down to Taco Bell. Hey, what do you think of the new arch? Yo, Keanu, take that <laughs> that arch down. It's offensive, and I hate it. Wow, uh, Jimmy John's. Yeah, they put it up really fast. I can respect that. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, KFC, KFC, uh, A and W. What do you got? Well, I'll tell you what. Our chicken is. I don't. I don't want to do this one. <laughs> Uh, coming up on, uh, I guess this is a sign. I found this Grateful Dead poster in the garage of um, that one guy who's always walk working on his car on your street. Hey, uh, Grateful Dead poster. Hey, man. Hey. hey. What's going on, dude? Hey, did you hear about the new arch that's been put up? The new arch sign? <laughs> Are you saying there's a new sign There's a new there? sign. There's a new arch. That's um, dope, bro. That's yeah, so dope. Oh, you like it. I mean, yeah. yeah. Moving forward is progression. It's the way the universe works. You know what I'm saying? Like, always expanding, always creating, always finding new avenues and streets that we can put our signs up on. Yeah, this was a big mistake. Um, okay, what else? What hey! Else? Hey, hey! What are you doing down there? <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, try to ignore him. Uh, no, hey! Hey, look up here! It's me, I'm a giant tree! Hey, 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 hey! It's me, I'm a giant tree! You're not a tree. I am, I'm a giant tree. Look up, I've got branches, it's and a, I've got all this it's, foliage. It's a monopole, it's a cell phone tower disguised as a tree. I am definitely not a cell phone tower. I am a beautiful tree, I was promised to, to be indistinguishable from all the trees in all of the cities and that's what I am. I'm a giant tree over by a gas station and a Dairy Queen. Does the term bottle brush mean anything to you? Only if it Pipe is cleaner. in reference to cleaning bark and uh, roots. I know about roots. <laughs> You've got lots of bark, do you? And I got bark all over me. How like thick a dog, it, I've how got bark. How thick is your bark? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. Th I don't know how thick is your skin, dude. Come on, asking weird questions <laughs> like that. And you know, AT and T's great. Remember, it's uh, great. All right. Well, thank you, um, tree. I'm a tree. And now a message from Donna Ellison of Ellison Team Homes. Hi, everyone. I wanted to take this moment to invite you personally to come and hang out with us for our end of season client event. It's a thank you to all the wonderful people we've done business with, as well as a welcome to a lot of our community. Um, I'm doing this in partnership with Vanessa Zimmerman, Zimmerman team at Academy Mortgage. It's um, just kind of a, our way of saying thank you. We really enjoyed uh, getting to know you, doing business with you, etc. We'll be outside. We're sensitive to the fact that we're in COVID, um, still dealing with that. So it will be spread out. People will have room to breathe and sit and walk and talk. Reckless Company, if you've never heard them before, they're awesome. They're going to be playing. Uh, we'll have TMK here. I can't wait to try the corn dog. I've been waiting like two years to try this corn dog. So um, it looks amazing, and I've heard it's amazing, and I think there's quite a following. Also, they'll have all kinds of other food. We'll have beer and cider. Everything's hosted, of course, as a thank you. Again, it's for our clients. It's for our community. We really, really want to come and celebrate. We'll have swag for you, all kinds of fun things for the kids. We hope to see you on 916 from 4 to 8 in the afternoon. Tyler, did you know that the Australian lyrebird can mimic any sound that it hears, even chainsaws? No, that's uh, super interesting. Did you know that a baby puffin is called a puffling? Uh, or no. that baby sea otters can't swim, so their moms wrap them up in pieces of kelp until they learn how to paddle? Wait. Do you know any trivia that isn't, like, animal-related? Not really, but here's some stuff you may not know about the Wild Hair Saloon, where Camby goes to eat and have fun. Okay. The Wild Hair is one of Camby's longest-running, locally-owned restaurants. Owners Joan and Darren Moden have been in business for 16 years. That's cool. Yeah, heck, you were just a baby back then. I, and, wait, what? And they love to give back. They've been members of the Camby Chamber for that long, and they donate over $20,000 to local sports, FFA programs, and civic organizations each year. Wow, I'm legitimately like 
caught off. That's cool. Yeah. They also support more than 30 jobs in the community through their award-winning staff, some of them as young as 18. Hey, that's older than you are. Uh, dude, I'm... I'm 10 months younger than you. With, with the days getting longer and the weather getting warmer, the Canby Wild Hair's expansive outdoor patio is the place to be. Furry friends, welcome. Well, that sounds great. I'm going to go check them out just off of Highway 99E next to the Space Age in Canby at 1656 Beaver Creek Road in Oregon City or on their website at thewildhairsaloon.net. Now Hear This Can Be is produced by me, Tyler Clausen. Our content director and star reporter is Tyler Frankie. And of course, our show is edited by Cameron Clausen. We also feature the vocal talents of Joy Struby and James Walden. So a round of applause to them. The song that you're hearing right now is Can Be by singer-songwriter Olivia Harms, used with her permission. To find more work from her, you can visit her website, olivia13.com. Now Hear This Can Be is dedicated to preserving independent local journalism and redefining local news with our fun, fresh, and energetic brand of storytelling. Our sincere thanks to our local sponsors who make this show possible. Please show your appreciation by supporting the small businesses who support us. The production of Now Hear This Studios, Canby's locally owned, full-service audio, video, and media production company. Our mission is to produce the best content in the universe, and we'd love to help you do it. Find us online at nhtstudios.com. Um, I will take a motion to adjourn. I just moved it. I didn't even ask for it, though. (laughs)